finals for Trivial Season 3. Let me remind you, you guys can please follow us on all the social media platforms, starting from Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You guys can do it on. It is 3x3BL, your India's first and only 3x3 Pro Basketball League. This is the moment, ladies and gentlemen. This is the sport that you'll see, which you'll never see anywhere else in the country. This is the Women's League final for 3BL Season 3. To do the toss for the final, I have got the general with me. Please put your hands together and welcome none other than Indrabir Singh Gill. That's right. These champs have been so kind for being here today even when they're not playing. Indy, thank you so much and welcome. The heat is killing, isn't it? All right. The general is right here with me for the toss for the final for the Women's League. Let's bring out the finalists for the Women's League of 3BL Season 3. Starting with none other than the strongest as we know. Please put your hands together and welcome Team Delhi Divas! Lost one game but came back stronger. This is it for them. Good luck, good luck. This is Team Delhi Divas and making into the finals to play against Delhi Divas. Put your hands together and please welcome Team Kochi Stars! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals for Women's League. Kochi has just played a semi-final 15 minutes back and they're back here again on the court to play the finals. All right, can I now request the captains for both the teams, which is Delhi Divas and Kochi Stars, to please come up for the toss, which is going to be done by the general. General, you got the coin. All right, may the best team win. Who's going to call? Kochi Stars is called for? Heads. Tails it is. All right, Delhi Divas won the toss. They're going to take the ball. Thank you so much, Indy. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Eddie. Big round of applause for my man, the general Indy. And this is the news from the finals. Delhi Divas have won the toss and they will take the ball first. Don't miss this. And what an exciting final it is going to be. Although these two teams met up in the league phase and the Kochi Stars managed to inch Delhi Divas out in an overtime finish. We can expect the same intensity now. Delhi Divas being represented by Kushi Alabat with 15. Ishika Chaudhary wearing jersey number 10. Raspreet Singh Sidhu wearing jersey number 6. And Tavleen Kaur Bandal wearing jersey number 3. Kochi Stars being represented by number 6. Steffi Nixon, number 5. Kanishka Deer, number 77. Divyani Gangwal and number 10. Vandana Arya. The conditions are brutal. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, although we did have an unfortunate injury for Ari Kelly, the Pune Panthers did manage to recollect their wits and continue on to qualify to the semi-final and they gave a good fight but unfortunately went down to Kochi Stars. So Kochi Stars are coming back and playing back-to-back -back games, it's always very hard for the team that has played the second semi-final to come back and play. And these conditions are definitely going to be a little tough to uh, contest against. But this is what it is. And uh, Raspreet is uh, someone that can do a lot of damage inside and outside. And Steffi Nixon, once inside the paint, can, finds her comfort zone, will make sure she gets the ball where she wants or at least she will have a piece of that ball anywhere at all in the court. So, how are these two games, how are these two teams going to face up and meet the challenge here, considering that this round's championship game is on the line for both of them? Wearing the red jerseys, Delhi Divas, and wearing the pink jerseys are Kochi Stars. And uh, bringing to your attention the generous support that has been given to us by our partners i'd like uh, like to give out a big shout out to them nivia is our apparel partner fortis mohali is our medical partner red bull is our energy drink partner and windham chandigarh mohali is a hospitality and venue partner boxer singh sports worldwide private limited is our name partner my fm is our radio partner and sony live is our broadcast partner without them this league would not have been possible and a big shout out to all the people that are working behind the scenes to ensure that this league goes on and no matter what the players are the ones that should be placed foremost and hopefully this league is the perfect launching pad for them to achieve their dreams and we are off to a crackling final first possession with delhi raspreet 
with a jumper missing it vandana arya with the ball steffi inside the paint turning tries to put it up and yes she manages to sneak it in and that shot will count and it's an and one situation steffi nixon going to the line for a free throw missing that free throw raspreet pulls down the rebound and uh, passing it outside raspreet back again with the ball trying to trying to beat her man and spot up for a jumper it's a tad short vandana back to steffi steffi drops it to a cutting divyani and rebound pulled down by kushi once more picking her rebound back again that's Raspreet driving to the hoop and a high one off the glass she finds it dropping the first point for Delhi Divas that's Raspreet Siddhu Steffi turns around for a jumper but good defensive efforts there she's not able to get into a comfortable position Kushi was there to thwart it once more a repeat for Raspreet another high one off the glass Steffi Divyani with the rebound kicks it out an air ball and it's also a shot clock violation so it is going to be delhi divas ball a quick change ishika will go out and tavleen will come in kushi rebounded by steffi steffi will send the ball out divyani back again to steffi losing the ball great defensive efforts by raspreet sidhu She knows exactly what needs to be done and make sure she does it right. Raspreet finds herself in position to once more lay it off the glass and add another point to Delhi Divas. Kochi Stars are trailing by two. A resurgent and more refreshed Delhi Divas are making the going tough for Kochi Stars who just come back from a back-to-back -back game. Eight minutes and five on the clock. Kochi Stars find themselves trailing by two. Ishika who's going to take the throw in for Delhi Divas and this time it is Kushi who takes it in and draws a foul Kanishka concedes the foul on behalf of Kochi Stars so Ishika is going to go to the free throw line missing that one and the ball is out of bounds plenty of arguments it's our ball our ball is what we heard but the ball is going to go the delhi divas way ishika tries to drive drive in takes it close but not able to make it kanishka is there to pick up the rebound for the kochi stars kicks it out to devyani devyani with the set shot there vandana arya missing that one ball with tavleen for divas kushi goes all the way around she could have taken a simpler layup there instead of going for a reverse layup but she's done what we didn't expect her to do ball rebounded by tavleen tavleen for divas launching a long two that is ishika but ball rebounded by vandana arya now with kochi divyani vandana tries to split the defense and take it inside but she's fouled in the process raspreet comes in place of ishika i can see the foul that happened Vandana Arya finds her, uh, finds herself on the free throw line and she's about to take her shot missing that one but Steffi is there to put it back inside and take the score up by another point trailing by 1 7 minutes and 3 on the clock
Raspreet splitting the defense there, but draws a foul in the process. Steffi is a little mortified to see that she has been called for a foul. Raspreet is ready at the free throw line. Let's get this on with. That's what her body language seems to say. Makes it. Four for Delhi Divas. A cross-court pass there to Vandana Arya. Vandana beats Raspreet and goes in, but she has lost the ball. Raspreet scooping it in, but that won't go. The ball is with Kochi Stars. Vandanaria launching a two. And yes, she makes it nothing but net now. Kochi Stars are level with Delhi Divas with four apiece. 6.30 on the clock. Tavleen with the jump shot, but that's an air ball. Missing it completely. Steffi as well. Now Raspreet has a ball for the Divas. Taking it to the top and trying tries to reset the play. A spin move there, but... A timeout has been called. Both teams with two fouls. Both teams looking to finish this as fast as possible and ensure that they have taken a victory in the first round. Kochi stars ball. Divyani out to Kanishka. Spinning right into the man. She's forcing a shot. Steffi is there to get a piece of that and rebound. She tries to go inside but good defensive efforts by Delhi Divas. They're completely pumped. You can see it in the body language that they mean business. Raspreet. Makes that shot. Nearly all of the points on the Delhi Diva scoreboard has been scored by Raspreet and she'll have another opportunity to add to it and she has taken it to the free throw line now. Makes that one. An air ball. Raspreet grabs the rebound. Tries to take it all the way inside. Losing the ball. But picked up by Kanishka for Kochi stars. Divyani. She's not able to make it. Raspreet with the rebound again. Takes it out. Resets. Launches a two. Yes. Nothing but net. And that's seven points for Delhi Divas. Raspreet is such a star for her team. Hooks it. Divyani not able to make it. Better shot selection would help the Kochi stars at this point in time. Making sure that every possession counts is what they should be doing. And Ishika has come in place of Raspreet who is sitting out on a breather. Divyani for Kochi stars. Off the glass, that was Kushi who missed that. Divyani for Kochi Stars. This was a bad pass. And Steffi didn't even attempt to collect the pass.
another bad pass. Ishika. Tavleen will sit out while Raspreet comes in place. Five minutes 13 on the clock. Divas have a three point lead. Dropping it inside to Raspreet. Raspreet taking it to the hoop. And yes, once more. Raspreet had, has made it her personal pin code over there to keep launching those shots off the board and sinking it at regular intervals. Four fifty one on the clock. Four point deficit. Kochi stars are looking at both teams with three fouls apiece. Yes, a little bit of a hustle there and uh, stars have come out on top with the ball possession but then Kanishka managed to launch herself off the line taking it out of bounds so it's going to be Delhi Divas ball anyway another substitution for the Kochi stars Vandana Arya is in there in place now Raspreet with the ball tries to split the defense spins into the traffic but kicks out the ball to Kushi. Kushi with a sweet jumper. Makes that one. Adds another point to Divas. They're nine. Steffi trying to close his course but forces a shot over there. Great defensive efforts by Kushi. Raspreet splitting the defense. Takes it all the way to the hoop but not able to convert it. Divyani with the rebound but the ball is out of bounds. It's going to be Kochi Star's ball. Vandana Arya will take the throw. Another timeout, Raspreet will get a breather this time and Steffi will also go out. Coming in place are Kanishka and Tavleen for the respective teams. Vandana Arya tries to find the opening to take that shot but she's not able to finish that one. It was a good attempt though, great pass inside. Vandana finds herself free, letting loose a two but she can't convert. Tavleen with the rebound but Vandana had a piece of that. 3.54 on the clock. Raspreet and Steffi are back inside. Kanishka will step back out. Ishika back to Tavleen. A hustle there. Good defensive efforts by Kochi Stars. It's a help ball, so... Kochi Stars will get possession. Take it all the way inside but forcing that shot. But Raspreet was there to take the rebound. Tries to penetrate inside. Hesitation comes out. Takes a two. Rebounded by Vandana Arya. Kicks it out to Divyani. Divyani again tries to take it to the hoop. Off the glass. And yes, that's good. One point more for Kochi Stars. After a long time, they have been scoreless for a past two or three minutes. A little more than that, in fact. So they are going to have to keep putting those points on the board in quick succession. And that is unfortunate because the ball just rolled out completely. Tough luck for Steffi. Dropping it inside for Tavleen. Tavleen finds herself in a tough situation. Tries an attempt there, but no good. Ishika with the jumper. She makes it. Adding another point to Delhi Divas. Five point difference. Finding the open man to Vandana Arya. But she is not able to make it. That is going to be so expensive. But here we have another sign of injury. That's Tavleen. Tavleen who seems to have twisted her ankle. And uh, hopefully it's okay. But it seems to be the right ankle. Will she walk it off? Or is she going to sit out? It remains to be seen. She is being carried out. The physio is also there to assist them. So they don't have another player to substitute now. Raspreet is going to have to play in as are Ishika and Kushi. 2 minutes 45 on the clock and they have a comfortable 5-point lead. Can Kochi Stars really swing it their way? If they're able to get a couple of twos, it will easily cut down the lead. But they seem to be having trouble converting those baskets and Steffi is not able to get in and play in her comfort zone as she would like. 
so she is having some difficulty right now delhi have obviously done their homework very well after having suffered a very very close loss in their league encounter so they have made the adjustments necessary to ensure that steffi is not comfortable there knowing that the maximum damage can happen from within the paint steffi kicks it out vandana spots up for a jumper and she makes it that's six points raspreet this time for a two Yes, she does. She makes it. Raspreet has a bunch of points already to her credit, and her team is so so comfortable right now. Two minutes nineteen, six point difference. The divas have the ball. Raspreet takes it off, launches another, but this one's no good. Rebounded, ball tipped out of bounds. That is by Ishika, so it is going to be Kochi Star's ball. Six points deficit. Four Kochi stars, two minutes and four remain. Both teams with three fouls apiece. Divyani tries to go inside, draws a foul. Raspreet really upset with that call because she felt there was absolutely no foul. Divyani will go to the line. Divyani missing a valuable free throw there. Raspreet in total control, taking it all the way in and laying it up. Not challenged at all. I won't be surprised if Raspreet has put up all the twelve points on the board so far. That's the impact she's had on her team right now. It's thirteen points on the board for Delhi Divas versus Kochi Stars. Was struggling with just six points on the board. Steffi is definitely not herself. She's not finding. those openings to convert those shots or find herself on the free throw line as much as she'd like this is sensible basketball great adjustment great strategies in place for delhi divas they've done what it takes to try to shut down kochi stars who had a great run so far with three successive wins learning from your mistakes is what delhi divas have done best and when it mattered the most they have pulled out all the stops and seem to be like they are coming out on top a one and a half minutes keeps them away from their first the first round championship delhi divas doing a brilliant job of shutting down kochi stars good defensive efforts as well tavlin having her ankle iced great team of physios and of course huge thanks to fortis mohali who's our medical partner in giving them the assistance that our players need our energy drink partner red bull right there in the corner making sure that we do have some hydration and energy as well this beautiful venue given to us by our hospitality and venue partner windham chandigarh mohali nice lovely jerseys by Nivia which is our apparel partner Kochi Stars ball Divyani with the jumper Steffi is there to pick it up and put it off the glass so that's one point that's come after a long time for Kochi Stars In return, Raspreet attempts a two, but it's way too wide. It's Divyani forcing another shot. Raspreet is there to pick up the rebound, and if she can just hold on, that's all it takes. Raspreet taking it to the hoop, and that's such a difficult shot. Unfortunately, it didn't go in. Kudos to Raspreet for attempting that one. Steffi is there to pull down the rebound, but unfortunately loses it. A lot of heart and struggle there under the board. Absolutely mispatched, but Raspreet is doing what it takes to make sure Steffi doesn't get an easy, get e any easy access to the ball. Ishika trying to find the open man, but she takes launches for a two, a very very short air ball, fouled in the process. So Ishika is going to take advantage of that situation and go to the line. 37 seconds 
before Delhi Divas can be crowned champions of round one. A timeout. Very well done. Coming off a tough loss in the league phase, Delhi Divas have regrouped and how taking down the very same opponent that gave them that tough loss in an overtime victory. That's going to rankle for a while, but they bounce back immediately to pull off great games. And now having lost their fourth player, Tavleen Bandal, to an ankle injury, they're still maintaining the pressure that is required to keep Kochi stars at bay. Ishika will take the free throw. Ishika making that one and taking it away. Not just inserting the dagger, but slowly driving it deeper and deeper, making the extraction very difficult and very painful for Kochi Stars. Just 37 on the clock. Seven point deficit. Ishika, isolation, tries to take it all the way. And yes, off the glass. Ishika is on fire now. She has sensed blood and she's going to make the best use of these opportunities given to her. 15 points. Vandana Arya attempting a two. Rebounded by Kushi. Back to Raspreet. Raspreet looking to take it all the way inside. Finds Ishika. Ishika spots up for a two. Not able to make it. Vandana Arya with the rebound. Desperation moments. Just seven seconds on the clock. This game is as good as done and Delhi Divas have Pretty much ice the Kochi stars. Just a formality of having completing the game with 5.8 seconds remaining. And uh, folks, you are looking at the round one champions, Delhi Divas. What a phenomenal run they've had. Forcing a two, but unable to make it. And that is a final buzzer. And we have our first round champions, Delhi Divas. You're watching the 3x3 BLs. Women's League 2022 unfold in great splendor and the first round belongs to Delhi Divas and what a celebration. The team taking the celebration to their injured comrade Tavleen. This is a lovely moment because they are back and they are celebrating with their injured teammate. They know this would not have been possible without her presence either and appreciating it. So this is a team and a team to reckon with and also the body language and the chemistry is amazing. Kudos to Raspreet for having rallied around her mates and making a team out of players who have just come in and tried to bond. She has taken it as a personal mission to get this lot together and make sure that they come out on top. Class act there by Raspreet Singh Sidhu. You can see the highlights where she's seen dominating pretty much all the points on the board except for maybe three or four points. Done so very well and she's been such an unstoppable force during the course of this round. Steffi Nixon fighting valiantly for her team but she found herself completely unsettled and rattled by the Delhi defense. Now let's go over to Rishi who's going to take us through the presentation ceremony. That was the Women's League, ladies and gentlemen. This is 3BL Season 3 and we have completed successfully what a nail-biting and cracking event, which was the Women's League. We're done with the finals today and of course, we know who the winner is. But before we begin the presentation ceremony for the Women's League at 3BL Season 3, I would request and invite none other than our League Director, Mrs. Prina Sharma, to please join me. Can I have a round of applause? Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. All right. This is going to be one of the its kind presentation ceremony because this is the only place where you will see such a sport being played. I'm talking about 3BL, India's first and only 3x3 Pro Basketball League and that too, a women's league. Starting with, the finals are over. The finals are between Delhi Divas and Kochi Stars and presenting the runners-up check Please put your hands together and give it up for the runners-up of Moon League, Kochi Stars. Many congratulations to Team Kochi Stars. 
a very special moment for all of you. You become the first runners-up for the Women's League for 3BL Season 3. Congratulations. Well deserves, well played. Just come in the center. Come in the center. Yeah. This is Team Kochi Stars. The runners-up for 3BL Season 3 Women's League. Great game. Thank you. Thank you so much and congratulations, Team Kochi Stars. Requesting Mrs. Prina Sharma to be right back here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the champions. No guesses there. Played throughout like champs. Please put your hands together and welcome Team Delhi Divas. Now that's, that's some spirit. Congratulations, Team Delhi Divas. Many congratulations. One of their players is injured with an ankle sprain, but look at that. That is the spirit of the Women's League here at 3BL Season 3. Give it up for the champions, Delhi Divas. Many congratulations. Say champions. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please, please take your corner. Thank you. Easy. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Please take your corner. Thank you. All right. And this is a big moment because for 3BL Season 3 Women's League, it is now time for the most valuable player. Ladies and gentlemen, no guesses. A lot of experience come with that name and what a performance today. No guesses here from Team Delhi Divas, the most valuable player. Put your hands together and please welcome Raspreet Sidhu! Many congratulations. Well deserved. Good job. The most valuable player for the Women's League for 3BL Season 3. This was fantastic. Can I have the claps going on, everybody? Thank you. Well deserves, well done. What, what a day she has had on the court. Given us some spectacular, spectacular shots. Well done, Raspreet. Thank you so much. This was crazy. This is your moment, yes. And before we let you go, Raspreet, I'm going to have a quick chat with you. First of all, congratulations on winning the finals. What a game. And congratulations on being the most valuable player. This, I want you to describe this feeling, Raspreet. I think it's just one word, my team. Wow. Well done. Well said. Uh, one of your players got injured in the middle of the finals. And what spirit and what spirit. I just want to understand what was your technique, what was your strategy from the semi-final to the finals. I think I'll be in a better position to answer this in round, uh, final round. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but no, nothing is just jokes apart. I think it's just been a team bonding. We before me, and I think that really worked. We gave it all every game. We were taking it one game after one game, and we weren't even thinking if it's semis or finals or just a pool match. It just give it your all for those 10 minutes and then get ready for the next. That is some champion swag she's had. She's already ready for the last round. And that is some great confidence to learn from. Raspid, I want to congratulate once again. Thank you so much for doing what you do and making us proud. You are super strong and super inspirational. Thank you. Thank you so much. The most valuable player for Women's League. This was the Women's League at 3BL Season 3.